Welcome back to this Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. In the last part we made it to Auroburg City and in this part we will find and challenge the first gym leader in Sinnoh. To find the gym leader you need to go into the Auroburg mine. The entrance to the mine is located on the south side of the city. Wild Pokemon can be encountered in the mine. You can find Zubat, Geodude and one new Pokemon, Onyx. Onyx is a dual rock ground type. Like many other rock types of its generation, Onyx has high physical defense and low special defense. But one thing that sets it apart is its relatively high speed stat. It evolves to the Steelix when traded while holding a metal coat. After evolving, its speed stat will make a significant drop. The good news is that Steelix won't be 4 times weak to water and grass type moves because of its steel typing. My Psyduck is still too weak to battle on its own, but with the training it will get down here and in the gym, it will hopefully reach level 9 where it will learn Water Gun. This is the gym leader. His name is Rourke and he's a rock type trainer. He will give you a brief demonstration on how Rock Smash works outside of battle before he heads back to his gym. Now you can go to the gym and challenge him. Inside every gym there will be a man giving you hints for the upcoming gym battle. There are two gym trainers in here, but they can be skipped by using the stairs and bridge to go around them. I do recommend that you fight them nonetheless for the experience points.
now that my Psyduck has learned Water Gun, it can finally fight without help from my other Pokémon. It will be of great use during the battle against Rourke. If you started with a Chimchar, then I suggest that you evolve it into a Monferno before challenging Rourke. Monferno learns Mark Punch right after evolving. It will also become part Fighting type, which will make it partly resistant to Rock type moves. You can also catch a Psyduck inside the Orberg Gate or a Machop on Route 207 just north of Orberg City. Rourke's first Pokémon is a Geodude. It only knows two moves, Rock Throw and Stealth Rock. What Stealth Rock does is that it lays out pointy rocks around your team, so the Pokémon you send into battle will get hurt. The amount of damage will be defined by the type effectiveness against Rock. Fire-type Pokémon will take more damage than Water-type Pokémon. Rourke's second Pokémon is Onyx. Taking out Onyx shouldn't be any more difficult than taking out his Geodude. Just be careful if Onyx uses Screech. Switch out with another Pokémon if that happens. You don't want to be low on defense for Rourke's last Pokémon. Cranidos has extraordinary high attack despite being an unevolved Pokémon. This Cranidos doesn't have any Rock-type attacks in its moveset, but it does have Headbutt. With its 70 base power combined with Cranidos' high attack, Headbutt will do a great deal of damage. Turtwig has good physical defense, but even it can take too many hits before it needs to be healed. One alternative way of dealing with Cranidos is to raise a Geodude up to level 15 where it learns Magnitude. When you have defeated Rock, he will award you with a cold badge in Team 76 Stealth Rock. In the next part we will head back to Jubilife City and then head north on our way to the next Pokemon Gym.